Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Thursday, August 20th, 2015 by Gaia Blooming. I'm Mimi and our energy mantra for today is I play my part with passion. And we're finishing up the Leo, Sun and Leo vibration, which is about the inner child, your creativity. And it has that energy as life is Life's all life's the stage. You know, what part are you going to play in it? Whatever part you play, make sure it's true to yourself and play it with passion. Um, and today, we have, we have a few interesting things going on. We have the moon shifting into Scorpio, which is building us into a few squares. We get a taste of the squares. Squares are resistance. They show us our resistance between the moon and Scorpio and Leo energy. Tomorrow, there's actually going to be a bunch of those squares. We get a taste of it today with the moon and Scorpio squaring Mars and Leo. So, you know, this may be like, oh, I want to play my part. I want to step up. I want to show my light. And that stuff, that Scorpio stuff, some of that shame that we are still processing through with Saturn and Scorpio still allowing to come up and be processed might show up. The good news is with this is that there's so much healing um, healing energy around today. We have Mercury connecting to Chiron. So Mercury is our thoughts and it's in Virgo. So it's ready to analyze whatever comes up for you and be able to pick it apart. And connecting to Chiron, they're both at 20 degrees. And so we're getting in with that Chiron energy, that healing energy, willingness to look at our wounds, and then willingness to go in with the Virgo. And that's the greatest thing about Virgo is Virgo can go and analyze every piece of it and help work through it. So this is where that analyzation can actually really help you. Nurture yourself through anything that comes up. We also have Mercury connecting to Uranus in Aries. And so this might actually bring some unexpected breakthroughs. You may get some unexpected information through all this energy kind of a breakthrough into who you are. And again, this is 20 degrees. So it's going to be nurturing. It's going to help you nurture yourself. We also have the moon in Scorpio connecting to Jupiter. And so, you know, as of late, Scorpio and Jupiter energy had been squaring each other because Jupiter was in Leo. But now Scorp or not Scorpio, um, Jupiter is in Virgo. And so now it's working with that Scorpio energy. So <laughs> anything that comes up, Jupiter might might expand it for you a little bit, might show you where it is in your body. You might feel it in your body. This is, again, giving you an opportunity to get into that depth, to really get to know it so that you can heal it. And that's one of, I think, the best healing tools, besides holding space with something, being present with it, to actually get in there and recognize it, pay attention to it, um, own it. Lots of healing comes in that. So, throughout all of this, we also have the moon connecting to Neptune in the evening, heightening our intuition ability, maybe bringing on some dreams. If you can't grasp what's going on, you know, during the daylight hours, your dreams may share some great information, intuition with you. So, you know, look within for the answers because they are there throughout all this energy. And we're building tomorrow to those squares. We have the sun squaring Saturn and the moon in Scorpio squaring Venus. So Scorpio, Leo squares. We're seeing the squares, a resistance within from the light and the dark. The light resists the dark. The dark resists the light. But in reality, they need each other. They work together with each other and are helpful to each other. So, the cards I pulled, <laughs> receptivity. Be receptive to whatever um, messages are coming through you for yourself. Even if it doesn't feel good for a second, that's okay. That's an important thing because it shows you, it shows you where your baseline is. It shows you where you're at. It's okay. Look at whatever comes up with innocence. You know, I, I, this isn't the fool card, but, you know, there's kind of a beauty to the fool card, because it has that innocence, that naivety. And maybe that can help you look at it as like, whatever you're receiving, it's not bad or good, it is. How can I work with what is? Participate with what is. So the saying, love what shows up, work with what shows up for yourself. It's all part of you, it's all good. And let go of what needs to go, let go of that shame. Lots of shame energy. And speaking of that, Nicole Ullman and I recorded a Gaia Perspective this week on worthiness and deserving and a lot of our 
holding ourselves back from our worthiness and deserving is because we carry that shame. So we're moving through this steadily right now with all of this great, great astro work. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.